Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. A little bit later in day video, but somebody hit me up about this new app called Center Stage. No, believe it or not, it's not an NFT. But before I get into it, I just had a question. So, going into the new year, I always love to get some ideas and stuff. Would you guys rather be putting stuff on the website for sale, like singles, as what I'll show you here in a second, or would you rather me wait till I get about 40, 50 cards and do a repack with it? So, idea is um, some of the stuff I've been picking up. I know I haven't probably showed it. Torkelson, Bowman's Best, Rookie Auto. Jordan, this is that Prolifics. Durant, uh, Fleer, Rookie Signatures. That's the McGuire I pulled from Topps Chrome Black. Kobe Bryant, Upper Deck Rookie. Kobe Bryant, Stadium Club Rookie. McKinnistry, Red Ink. Numbered Auto out of 72. Pretty cool looking card. Um, off hand. Except notice there's like something laying in here. Might be on the sleeve or something. But um, as I fix this here, just curious. Do you guys want me to list them as singles still in the store? Or would most of you guys like to just me to throw in them like in a repack when I do it? You know, because some of this stuff would be... You know, decent chases at like 50 bucks a pop, especially like this McKinnistry, the McGuire, stuff like that. So I figured I'd ask just to see what everybody wants. Um, try to see where I could push my time to, you know, more concentrating on. So appreciate anybody, you know, just let me know what you guys think offhand. I'll still put some of the lower singles and stuff into it. But more of the bigger stuff, I mean... Sometimes it sits there for a while. Sometimes it goes real quick. Sometimes I put it on my slabs, and some people are like, hey, can you move it over to the website, which I do. But just trying to get some ideas. All right, so this app, Center Stage, somebody hit me up about it. So the idea and concept behind this is this app, you're supposed to be able to take a picture, and it's supposed to like give you comps. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with this. Let me see. I don't think I have McKinnistry in this yet. So... It's going to be a little bit hard for me to do. i got to do this while on camera and everything. So this is the app. Let me see if it works. Sometimes it takes a second or two for it to flash right. Huh. That was my first thing that you should be able just to hit a button on to it to go. All right, I'm going to try resetting it real quick because last time when I reset it, it worked a lot quicker. So there it is. It pops up like this. Let me just make sure I don't have to hit anything here. It worked better when I had the car. There it is. Okay, so that's what pops up. And I know I got to get refixed to focus, so hold on. So it's supposed to be a hundred dollar cards. What it's saying, no <laughs> recent transactions or nothing like that there. So, all right, uh, I'm just gonna hit add to collection. Raw done. So what it's supposed to do is when I open up my collections, and I just use these cards for an example. So the Durant. It's saying average sales $26 per. That's raw. Which is about right offhand when you start looking at some of the price. Well, that's a PSA 8. Uh, raw 28, raw 950. It's all going to depend on what the raw looks like, too. Raw 1590, raw $27. But, you know, some of this stuff I found wasn't accurate. Like the, oh, not prolifics. It's uh this one, a mystery M1 being $90 raw. I want to say these are like 25 to 35 bucks raw. It could be off. But look, the last ones are on the 21st, or, uh, or I'm sorry, 21st, January and February this year. So it doesn't really have what I would want to pick up. But like some of your more common stuff, it does, like the Kobe Rookie, that's a PSA 9 or saying it's worth $91. So if I was to buy this raw, you know, I'd start looking raw, 29, 25, well, 7, that must be beat up. It's another one. Because these average about 30 bucks raw, which, you know, pretty much I'd say 26 to 30 bucks raw for a decent uh, stadium club Kobe Bryant rookie. But it gives you an idea when you're in a show real quick, if you can get to scan quick, you know, 
what the value of the card is. Plus, it'll show you, you know, the nines and all that stuff recently. I like the idea and the concept behind it. Uh, what I don't like is the time it takes to get this card hurry up, picture scanned, and it pull up the information. The other part is, you know, <laughs> it, for somebody new just using it, like I sat there with my phone, and literally you got to try not to move your phone that much because I guess it does something. But you got to hold your hand real still and it'll start taking the pictures quicker. I mean, I, I see the pros and cons of it. It's a free app. You don't have to pay for it, at least nothing I've seen so far. But, um, you know, it makes it a little bit quicker than me having to go on eBay and type it in all that stuff to find it up. If somehow they can incorporate the HTML, like, coding to where you could get, like, the best offers and all that stuff, if you're all, you know, geeked out knowing how to do that stuff, um, and be able to pull that information onto the app, and then also incorporate like my slabs, Com C, and maybe a few of the auction houses out there. I think it would be good. Golden Heritage, um, Leland, stuff like that. There, I think it would help out. But somebody uh, hit me up about it. I'm like, I never heard of it. I went on, like, oh, there is a center stage app. But I, when I first thought of it, I really thought it was going to be something NFT. But out of curiosity, has anybody else heard of this app, Center Stage? If so, have you used it? Do you like it? I mean, I think the con, like I said, the concept to it is pretty good overall. I think there's a lot of bugs to fix onto it to where it's not pulling accurate information across the board. Because if I was to go on eBay, there's a lot more sales than what's popping up onto my phone. And again, eBay should not just be the only thing it's used. Um, now for raw, probably maybe com C star stock, whatever else is out there. But if somebody could get all of that stuff put into one thing on an app and all I got to do is hold my phone and pull, you know, sees the card, knows what the card is and is able to generate that information based off of pictures. I think it'd be pretty good. I don't know how they do, how the whole app thing here works or anything, but Figured it'd be something new, something different to talk about for a change and to see if anybody else has heard about it, what you think about it. Like I said, it's free to download. Um, it has some advantages to it. You've got to have some good lighting, I'll tell you that, with it. Now, mine is an older iPhone, so maybe that's part of my issue. I have no idea offhand. So, but I, you know, I might end up using it some shows where I'm going around trying to figure out pricing real quick on this stuff, especially in like dollar boxes where you're not tracking how much does this go raw, how much is a nine and ten worth. Um, it might become beneficial for something like that. All right, everybody, just wanted to hit that out real quick about this app um, that I just happened to hear about today. At the same time frame, give a general public question on to. Uh, the website, if you guys just want me to start listing cards out there raw again, or would you prefer me just to do some type of cheaper mystery packs, you know, like 50 bucks and, you know, probably low end hitting would be like a $25 card, high end to $50, $300 chaser, maybe something like that round range. I don't know, but I always value input. So see what everybody has to say on to it. Other than that, everybody have a good rest of the week. Um, I should be back with some Bowman Inception this week. Something else. Oh, Alan and Ginter Chrome. Alan and Ginter Chrome as well. Got a PSA order. I'm still waiting for it to ship out. Got the grades yesterday. And I got another one that's in assembly. So that stuff's going to start rolling through. So be on the lookout. I might just pop up one day and either just in the video say, hey, these cars are listed on the website for the next, you know, 48, 72 hours. Then the stuff's going off to DC or wherever. But, um, or I might just pop live for a quick sale too. Depending on, you know, how much of the stuff I just got to, you know, move on out to get ready for the massive backload of uh, PSA that I got coming in. All right, everybody, take care of a good one. Catch y'all next video.